Hey guys, I realized I had my setup all wrong the entire hour and a half stream. <laughs> oh man. Just goes to show you. <laughs> I think you're doing something right and you're not. So I'm gonna work a little bit more on this painting so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. Um, that sucks. Oh well, moving on. I'm probably not going to talk as much this time because it's really distracting to try to do this while you're talking. Um, that being said, maybe I will. I don't know. But I, I'm just going to start chopping through some of this painting. And I couldn't see how to set, the, like, I wanted to quickly get this up on my YouTube, but it's huge kind of pain in the ass to go through all that. And it's already streaming to Facebook, I think. So I'm just going to continue with this part right here. And uh, we'll work on some of this painting a little bit more. I'm going to use some raw umber here. I want this to be more gray, I think. So I'm using a raw umber and a cadmium red light. And I'm going to paint in the light of the space right here. Um, that's too light. So that just kind of goes to show you like, <laughs> no matter what you're doing when you're creating work, uh, you're gonna have things that just get screwed up and you can't dwell upon those things. So that whole live stream was completely screwed up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back and redo some of it just so that you guys can see some of what I was doing. You can hear, hopefully you hear me better. <laughs> Probably end up deleting it off the feed too, so. I don't know. You live and you learn. And mostly I just, it's the way I've done everything. I just go at it and there's all kinds of mistakes made along the way and screw ups and you blunder through those and you keep moving and you don't worry about that too much. You don't wanna drive yourself nuts with that stuff. Hopefully I won't do it next week. So I've got a number of references I'm looking at that I'm going to also be using to help inform what's going on on his face. I think that I have his mouth not very well laid in here, so I'm going to continue to... I'm just going to exaggerate that over there and see if that makes a difference. going to kind of smooth this all over because I think I'm going to redefine that a bit. So I work up 
right under his nose right there. The good news is nobody's paying attention most of the time. So you can do all kinds of screwed up things as you're trying to work through your creative process and nobody's gonna remember it usually. So let's see. I'm going to pull this way out over here. That's a little bit of a light reflected up under some of the musculature of his mouth here. And I'm going to pull that reflected light down over here too. It's probably too much. So let's go back. Dark a bit. And uh, yeah, so there's some light on the top of his lip here. Just peeking out from his, he's got this stubble on his face. So what's gonna help this mouth look like a mouth is not necessarily all the outlines around the, the lips, but it's just the way that the light it's certain parts of his mouth, like the highlights and the cast shadows. It's got a sort of a It's probably not in the right spot. I'm going to continue to just sort of define some of the light on his face. His eyes are not correct. Hmm.
I think I'm having a hard time finding exactly what angle these brush strokes should be for some reason. I'm going to get a bigger brush. Um, Going as a little bit darker color. Pulling some of this yellow ochre into the hat. Let's see here. This is a raw umber. It's a little bit more gray. Soften that. You need to just sort of define his uh, jawline a bit better. I'm going to uh, You just screw this up. <laughs> That's too bright, obviously. So do that. Still too bright. Yeah, this one's kicking my ass. Hmm. 
Sometimes when you have something that's not working, you just better just to walk away from it for a while and come back later. And often it's the time when you just, you finally just give up, like you just like, screw it, I'm not gonna make this work. And uh, you do something completely unexpected. And that's what pulls it together, finally. Sometimes that happens. So I'm gonna do something that I can do and I get to a point where like, it is just going sideways. And I'm getting too caught up in things. I'm gonna turn it upside down. And I'm gonna work on it upside down. Now what this does is it helps me to see things as an abstraction rather than all these details of things and I can start to see how the interplay of shapes are working together. And sometimes it's hard to, you know, like you know something isn't working but you can't tell exactly what it is that isn't working. And this often will help with that. So that's why I do this. As in some sort of like, I don't know, it's not a gimmick, it's just something that, it's just a way of working that I, I find helpful. Let's bring the shadow snows over a bit more. Go into some gray here. Yeah, see if that does. Not quite sure that's going to do much difference. It's smaller brush. And now I'm going to Changes eye a little bit. And I might be getting to a point where I have too the paint on my canvas is just too wet. And I might just have to stop working on it for a while, which is frustrating because you get to a point where like, I don't like to, when I, when I get frustrated on a piece, I don't like to stop. I like to like, like I don't like to go to bed angry <laughs> with a painting. So I like to get some point where I'm like, all right, I can live with that. And 
sometimes you don't some sometimes that works and sometimes you just gotta stop take a second take a break take a t some time off come back to it when you're fresh and relaxed and you're not just like trying to beat your painting into submission And it might take a little bit of time for you sometimes to see what the real issue with the piece is. Like you spend all your time working on one section of the painting you think isn't working and really it's just some minor thing somewhere up another part of the painting is not working. And you're so close to it that you're not going to see it until you take some time off of it. That being said, sometimes it's good to just, oops, keep working on it until you get it right. Or at least feel like you can walk away from it without being, feeling totally defeated. Remember, these are just paintings. Like, you can always move on to something else. Your time lapse doesn't work, or you forgot to switch your video scene over so that everybody sees you're standing in your underwear painting. <laughs> Who cares? If you have a painting doesn't work, or you don't have to show it to anybody. And most likely people aren't going to have any, you know, they, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about here. So let's we'll take a quick right side up and see if that even does anything. It looks pretty stupid. All right. I will continue to try to figure this one out. It wouldn't be the first painting that I failed at. Even if it did turn on complete dog manure. Back over here. It might have been a smarter idea to tackle one of the Jim Carrey paintings where it's obviously like one of those classic sort of facial expressions that gives you a lot more to like jump onto visually. 
but for some reason I wanted to do this. So and usually when you work on a painting that creates challenges for you, it doesn't go right. Those are the ones that you learn a lot from. Um, and then when you do get it under control, it it's more satisfying or is it, I don't know if it's more satisfying, but I, 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 pre, I have fun with those. And generally people aren't watching over your shoulder as you completely wreck a painting. So the trick would be to make make it not evident that you struggled that hard with it. So to, to kind of cover up your um, apparent labor to make these paintings look effortless, even if they were anything but. And one way to approach that is to quit putting, quit trying to control it. Like there's a certain amount of resignation that happens where you resign to the idea that this may just turn into a total disaster. And that might, at that point, a lot of times things work out. The irony is though, if you uh, try to use that as a tactic, like I'm just going to quit and resign and I don't care what happens, that is <laughs> not resignation. That is you lying to yourself. You'll you'll know when it happened when when you just give up trying too hard. You just yeah, you just quit caring about it, and then you can see clearly. It's almost like letting uh, <clears throat> your need for, you know, your ego has to drop out of it. And that's probably what the problem is here. It's, just, it's like, I know I can make this painting and then it's not working. And, and then finally I'm like, you know what? It's not gonna work. But I'll just dink around on it, see what happens still. Maybe I'll just wipe it out and start over again. Sometimes that works. I feel like I have all my tools in the wrong spot now. Like, Feels like everything is working against what I'm doing. <laughs> but here we are. Don't like that tone. A lot of what I'm doing right now is just searching around, seeing, you know, just making some educated guesses to see what's working, what's not going to work. Taking stabs at things. Let's see how that works. 
Uh, it's starting to kind of come around. Let's continue with this here. We're going to take some raw umber, meal ogre, blah blah blah. So I'm laying some of the light on his hair here. I think I'm going to go in a little lighter on the background here. That light, maybe some yellow ochre in there. That. I continue with this raw umber and yellow ochre. Let's see what that gets me there. Let's do something for fun. Screw it up, I want to screw it up. You need to work around us a bit. Don't like that. Mix some gray here, see what that does. Mm. Looks like a face anyway, so there's that. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that live stream up. Screw it. Can't take a joke. <laughs> Um, light. Take some raw umber. Okay. 
പിന്നെ continue to work this shape up as I Starting to maybe sort of kind of oh, I'm getting to a point I think I can walk away and not be completely pissed off about this painting. Well, that's I'm not really angry at it, but you know, I I know that I can sit that back down. I'm relaxed and go back at it again but uh, I still want I still think I can bring it in a little bit better than I have at the moment so I'm just going to rework around some of his chin a little bit and what I want to do is just Sort of define that edge, I think. Um, And I'm going to do that with do some burnt sienna and indigo blue a little bit. That's it'd probably be really dark. So a stubble as it goes around his jawline. It looks darker because at that angle you're seeing through thicker stubble. So it's not really a shadow. So much. Get that still too warm. There. there. And then I define the snot gutter here. Going to lighten this up.
see how this looks now. I think that's a little closer. Maybe a pupil in there or something that might help to bring it up a little bit. See here. I don't want to go a little bit darker over by the corner of his mouth. I'm not really a big fan of what I do with this eye over here. Uh, let's see. Let's just for fun get a little highlighted as I. I'll probably paint this out later, but it's way too bright, but whatever. I'm going to. Then take a little lighter color and lighten up this side over on the other side of his pupil.
And I want to um, take some less and crimson. I like to put less and crimson into the darkest parts of uh, like we're like in the corners of eyelids, corners of mouths. Those are going to be the darker, warmer flesh tone areas. Then I'm going to take a similar highlight on this side of the eye, but I'm going to do that a little, not quite so bright. And I can see that highlights on his mouth are going to go all the way into this corner. See, I don't have quite the shape of his lip right. But there is a, a lot of work to do on this painting yet. You know what? I'm going to punch in his ear. We're here. A little bit lighter than that. It's like Tom Cruise and Jim Carrey had a love baby or something. Oh, so this is like. <laughs> <laughs> I will eventually get the better of it. Please don't tell Jim Carrey that I'm mangling his face up like this. Forgive me, Jim Carrey. <laughs> Too dark.
All right. Those of you who have stuck around for session two of the same day, I appreciate it. I will try not to screw up the next live stream. Try being the author of word here. Uh, all right, I feel like this is coming to a place so I can fall. Um, Okay. All right. Yeah. I don't know that I'm going to be able to accomplish anything else on this painting. It's paint's all pretty wet. Yeah. I keep working. I think I will block it this a little bit just to set it up. Let's go to some rubber. Well, I think we all learned what not to do today. By we, I mean me. All right, so I'm going to stop there. Second time. One second.